Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be doing an Undertale. Uh, I apologize that my room looks like garbage, but you know, you know how it is. There's our friendly friends that we didn't kill before. They bought it all. Okay, so he, they, those two bought all the ice. <gasps> Sands, buddy. What is this? Hey. Go up to Creepy Alleyway on the right for some great deals. Sans, what is up? Hey. Heard you were going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure, man. Great. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. What? But there's a restaurant. Wait. Oh. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but oh... Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Oh, he's, he doesn't want us to leave. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? Sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. And then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I just keep them coming. She keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And then I did again, and again. It's a thing now, telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. That's adorable. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. She told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has, to, has an integrity you can't say no to. Oh, shit. It was, it was Cow Mom. Oh, no. It was Toriel. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Oh, shit. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey. What's that look supposed to be? Am I wrong? Uh, a little bit. I, uh... But, you know, for the sake of editing, I cut them all out, so... Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. If someone really cares about you. Yeah, someone I accidentally killed because I didn't know the fucking game mechanics. Uh, this is awful. Alright, we're on our way to the core. What is up here? Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. Yeah, we can. We sure as shit can. Who's trying to get to the core before us? Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. I'm sure to... Yeah, it's not working. What? The elevator should be working. 
Well then, go to the right and keep heading up, okay? If you say so, Dr. Althus. All right, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map, forget it. Let's try the left side. Okay, let's try the left side then. Why not? Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Uh, it's the creepy men. Oh no. Magic. Magic. Pops out. What is it? It's hat. See, stare is the word. That was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We, 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 we've got, just gotta keep moving forward. Dr. Elphys, be confident. We got this. We've made it this far. Looks like you, can pr you can't proceed until you hit the switch, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. That's not the order at all! You had it backwards. Oh my god, are you hurt? I, I'm so sorry, I, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's going to be fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. Uh, she's trying so hard. Crossroads, uh, uh, try heading to the right. Okay. Wait, no, I think you should head up. Oh, there's spooky men up here. Night, night! I'm going to sing to him. He's starting to look sleepy. Oh my god. Literal bull at hell. Night, night smashes her morning star. Sing again. Farewell. Oh my god. Oh no. Singing. Night Night falls asleep. Night Night. Night Night. Excellent. Sorry, I, I thought that. Let's try the right path instead. M more lasers? Okay, I, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let me through. They're, they're not turning off. Can't turn them off. I, it, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power to the window. And you can walk across. Okay, go. See, this is fine. Wait, stop. The power is turning itself back on. Damn, damn it. This isn't supposed to. I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little, and then stop, okay? You won't get hurt. Oh, man. Woo! Woo, doggy. You wanted to play it safe there. Alright, see? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Oof, they're throwing some curveballs at us. Okay. You should, you should, I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry, I, I, I have to go. I think they're Elvis, it's okay. What's in here? Oh god, what is in here? Metaton, no! Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's, it's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not malfunction reprogramming. Get real. This was all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be part of it. She decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. Also, she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. 
Also, she also you would think she's the great person that she's not. And now it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show without a plot twist? Oh. Hey, what's going on? The, the door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. We've got a finale that will drive you wild. Oh man, up into the air. Real drama, real action, real bloodshed. Our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. Do, 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 do. Metaton, no. Gonna burn it. This is probably what you'll think of if things continue in this map. Yes, I was the one that we were in for. I was the one that killed everyone. Or that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was short. It was a short-sighted plan. You know what would have been a hundred times better? Killing you myself. That worthless pea shooter won't work. Don't you understand what acting is? Oh, <laughs> I just turned him around and flipped the switch. Did you just flip my switch? Oh God. <laughs> Oh, this is probably going to end well for me. Oh, yes. Uh. Oh my. He flipped my switch. That can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show it off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome award. I'll make you my last, or I'll make your last living moments. Absolutely beautiful. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Metaton EX makes this premiere. He's fabulous. He reminds me of the Ginyu Force. You really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Ah, how inspiring. Well, darling, either you or me. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's final point. Oh no, I'm at a time. I pose. Oh, look at those ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call-in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait! Um, they already hung up. Aw, oh, Metaton. I'll take another color. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton-shaped hole in my Metaton heart shaped heart. Ah, I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they, ha they only have me. If I left the underground, <laughs> if I left, the underground would lose its spark. 
leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong, perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Aww. Minutes adorable. That was a, that was a fun time. We had a pose off. I I managed to open the lock. Are you too? Alphys, you're late. Oh my god. Mediton? Mediton, are you Is he dead? Thank god. It's just the batteries. Mediton, if you were gone I would have I would have I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? I'm gonna go back and save. I can't go back and save, but we did it. We defeated Metaton. I, uh, I just need a moment. Aw, it's out of batteries, Metaton. Well, we're moving on up. We're going to the uh, to the castle, so I guess that's what we'll be doing on the next episode. Oh, unless Doctor Elphis has some info for us. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. Oh, come with me into the next episode, Doctor Elphis. So you're going to meet Asgore, huh? He must be he must be pretty excited about all that, huh? What? Why are you acting all shady? You, you finally you finally get to go home. Dr. Alphys. Wait. I mean, um, I was just going to, um, say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. Aw. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you have to take his soul. You have to kill Asgore. What the fuck? Oh no. I'm sorry. Dr. Alphys, you've deceived us. Huh. This is all too much, man. This is all too much. I guess I'm just gonna go until I see the next save point, because I don't know if there's gonna be more story stuff or what. I've already tried to end this episode like three times. Oh. Oh god. Oh man. There we go. Alright. On this next one. We will be uh, exploring the castle and seeing Asgore and seeing what's going on. Uh, so I will see you guys then. Thank you so much. Uh, stay fabulous. <laughs>